You and I had a private talk I don't 10 wanna, years ago. Don't say it. <laughs> 10, years ago, 10 years ago in oh, my garden. Oh, no, I know. In I, my re- garden, I regret. In my garden. I regret. My, at All my right. home. There's nothing. Okay, let me tell you what Masa said. Are you guys ready? So Masa said, Jensen, maybe, many of you probably don't know this, but at one point, Masa was the largest shareholder of NVIDIA. So we've been in the, I've been in the technology industry a long time. Started in the PC revolution. The computer industry went from PC to internet to cloud to mobile cloud to AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long journey. <laughs> Masa is the only entrepreneur, only entrepreneur, only innovator in the world that has selected the winner and partnered with the winner in every single generation. Remember, it was Masa that brought Bill Gates to Japan. It was Masa that invented or brought uh, Jerry Yang to Japan. It was Masa that made possible for China's cloud industry to happen, Alibaba. It was Masa that brought Steve Jobs to Japan and the iPhone. And you, maybe, many of you probably don't know this, but at one point, Masa was the largest shareholder of NVIDIA. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we, we, can, we, can, we, can cry, we can cry together. <laughs> Sit down, sit down, sit down. (laughs) Uh, How do you do it? How did you, how did you pick the innovators, the creators of each one of the technology revolutions in the history of computing? 100% record. Well, I think I was just lucky. Uh, I was born in the right time. And I met with uh, great entrepreneurs, like yourself. Okay? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a passion, it's a dream, and it's, it's an instinct that you smell. Uh, who is the real pioneer? Who is the real you know, innovator? And uh, I really think I was r- lucky. Uh, but it's a same vision that we can smell, right? It's like a wolf smell wolf. You know? I think we smell each other. <laughs> no, Masa, each, as, as you think back on, on the history, yes. uh, how is this transition, this platform shift, this revolution, how is this one different than the previous ones? How does it feel different to you? Well, I say this is the the most exciting, most dynamic um, front end of the future. This is 100 times, 1,000 times bigger. This is the biggest wave. I totally feel so. Yeah, I think mathematically or from an industrial perspective, the important thing to realize is that, that although AI is software, it is a very different type of software. The software industry you and I created um, and part of is an industry of tools. It's tools used by human. Yeah. For the very first time, this new type of software, neural network, large language models, agents, robots, are not tools, but they are skills. They're tasks. They do work. Yeah. They can perform work. And the industry, the market, the industry of work is not $1 trillion, is $100 trillion. And that's the reason why we realized that this industry is, in fact, not a transition of the IT industry, but this is a, I, this is a transition of every industry. Yes. Which is the so reason why it's such a big deal. In a lot of ways, Japan... Um, 
technology led during the megatronics era. Yes. yes. During that industrial revolution when, when mechanical technology and electronics came together. Uh, in fact, even consumer electronics uh, during that age, uh, Japan really led the world. Right. And then when, when the IT industry came and software came, uh, th there, was a, there was a miss. That, I think the last three decades, uh, as the software industries uh, flourished uh, in the West and in China, uh, really Japan could have been more aggressive. Totally agree, totally agree. Yeah. And, and back in those days, even to some extent today, uh, big enterprise, the medias, the big grown-up guys, they used to say monozukuri, meaning the making s physical stuff. Physical stuff has the uh, a real value and the real meaning, and software is something virtual that they don't trust the value of software. Mm -hmm. That has been the mentality for many, many years in Japan. That led uh, young um, startup guys, the young you know, generations, discouraged. Especially after the net bubble crash, everybody criticized. I was criticized a lot. And, and, and that really, you know, sort of like a punishment to the young stars mm -hmm. made, you know, the uh, depressed feeling. You and I had a private talk I don't 10 wanna, years ago. Don't say it. <laughs> 10, years ago, 10 years ago in oh, my garden. Oh, no, I know. In I, my re garden, I regret. In my garden. I regret. My, at All my right. home. There's nothing. Okay, let me tell you what Masa said. Are you guys ready? So Masa said, Jensen, the market does not understand the value of NVIDIA. Your future is incredible. Yes. But the market doesn't understand it. That was 10 years ago. And your journey of suffering will continue for some time <laughs> because you are inventing this future. So let me give you the money to buy NVIDIA. He wanted to lend me money to buy NVIDIA, all of it. Now I regret not taking it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great idea. Okay, that was now, a great idea.